Hello everyone, greetings. My name is Abhishek and I am Senior Salesforce Consultant at Webcool Software Private Limited. In this video, I am going to explain what is Salesforce Self-Signed Certificate, why it is needed to create this Self-Signed Certificate before connecting our Shopify store with the Salesforce org and how to renew this certificate when we are getting the expiry notification. So let's start. What is Salesforce Self-Signed Certificate? So Salesforce Self-Signed Certificates are like the key and pair used as a signature that verify a request is coming from your Salesforce organization. So they are authenticated SL communications with the external website. In our case, it is Shopify platform or when we are using our organ Salesforce organization as an identity pro provider. So here we understand that we need to generate a Salesforce certificate if as we are working with the external website that is Shopify and this needs a verification that a request is coming from a Salesforce organization. So we can understand in this way, let's say we have ordered something online right and delivery boy is at our door and they ask for the one time password so that they know they are handling over this order to the right person right so now let's start with the how we need to create this self-signed certificate so basically as soon as you install the application in your salesforce org you will be land on the salesforce setup right and if we have skipped this so this is how we can go to Salesforce setup. So we should be clicking on this gear icon and we will be clicking on setup. And in the quick find box, I will type certificate. Now, I need to create a self-signed certificate by clicking on create self-signed certificate. So we make sure that we provide the label of certificate as Shopify. Unique name will be auto populated right? as soon as we click on the box after providing the label as Shopify. And now we will click on save. I will again click on the certificate and key management so that it shows up here. So you could see we have created a self-signed certificate name as Shopify, right? And also you could see this certificate is valid up to one year. So on the 8th of July, 2023, this is going to be expired, right? Because I have created it on 8th of July, 2022. So when this certificate is going to be expired, so the Salesforce user who is a, like a system admin or has the view all or modify all data permissions, right? They will be getting about to expire notification like this. You see in the Salesforce help article, which says you have one or more certificates in your Salesforce org that will expire soon. So once you are getting this notification in your mail inbox, right, which you have provided in the Salesforce as a user. So <clears throat> you need to come back here in the Salesforce setup, click on certificate and key management, right? So the first thing we need to do quickly is to rename the certificate, which is going to be expired. So I will click on edit and I will rename it like Shopify.org and here, I will also update the unique name to .co and now I will click on save. Okay, so I can just use it like Shopify underscore old and the same I will use in Shopify underscore old and click on save. Right, so I have renamed it and now quickly, not to break our integration, I will quickly create the another certificate with label as Shopify and in the unique name it will be again populated by its own as soon as we click so now I click on save okay 
So because this certificate, which I have renamed as Shopify.org is about to expire. So it will be keep giving you the notification that this is going to expire, right? So in order to avoid the notification in the mailbox, I simply need to delete that. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you have more questions related to eShopsing for Shopify, please contact us at support at the rate Thank you so much.